Welcome or welcome to another episode of Any Last Words. I'm your host, Joe, and tonight we have the return of Hack from Hacks Horror Show. How are you doing, Tony? Oh, I'm doing great, Joe. How are you? I am great. It's been a while since since you've been on, since we've since we've conversed. Yes. Face to face ish. <laughs> too long. It has been too long. I'm so happy to be back. Uh last time I was on your show, I had the absolute best time. Oh, thank you thank you i enjoyed talking to you too it was great um and you have you had a lot of stuff going on then and it seems like you've got even more stuff going on now you're with uh slash and chill productions uh yeah. would uh they do a tape tapeworm z and um whoa what was the box of random fuckery right Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, because he sent it to me and I watched it. Jake Perry sent it to me and I just I thought that was hilarious. And you were in that. Oh yeah, that was that was fun. Uh, Jake had all of his shorts and uh everything Slash and Chill does, I absolute love. Uh Jake Perry. Uh, I was like a fan and we were talking, we were working together, and now uh I probably talk to Jake every day on the phone. And uh, almost like a jealous girlfriend, if you don't come, like, what's he doing? Where is he at? How come he hasn't talked to me today? <laughs> uh, but Random Box of Fuckery was fun because I got to host all of his movies, uh, even though I kind of stole all of them and put them all on my show and hosted them before, but got to do them all for Slash and Shield. Like, yeah, yeah, get Random Box of Fuckery and just skip over me and just watch all of Jake's shorts through. <laughs> through the best everything he does i love so much yeah i love that the, my favorite one was the sandwich one like the stalker sandwich <laughs> that shit was great <laughs> the, uh <laughs> that sandwich uh I, I was out there uh with jake uh when i went out there and i'm just hanging out with him in his house and he's making these crazy monsters out of all these children's toys and weird things and he's like macgyver when it comes to making monsters and i'm just looking around and i found the sandwich and i look at it and i'm like oh man there it is and jake turns around and he's like what the fuck are you doing and i'm taking selfies i'll send you the picture later i'm taking selfies with the sandwich but i'm holding it up like it's an award like <laughs> like i'm presented with it that's funny. I love I love that I noticed that I think it was that he wore like the same shirt for like every day that like went by. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like it's kind of like that's kind of a total dude move in a way almost. I mean, no offense to dudes, and I'm not saying that's all dudes, but you know what I mean? Like <laughs> uh th this this like, one it's still clean. <laughs> it's clean. I had it on like yesterday, but it didn't it made its way back through the laundry and it was back on top of the pile. I was like, it's a fresh shirt again. I wear it again today. I'm that person. Like if I wore a shirt and like one day and it just didn't get dirty and I'm in a rush, it's like, well, this, I didn't do anything to get dirty. So I'll just put it back on and run out the door. Yeah. I'm like, I, I just had this on for a second. It was fine. Totally well, fine. Well, I have, I have to be honest, uh, this past Sunday, um, the I officiated a wedding and most of the time when I get these things and people have me officiate their wedding uh you know spiked leather jacket I'm hack and I was like okay cool do you want this type of wedding they were like no we want a normal wedding I was like oh oh no I, I didn't have a suit so an hour before the wedding I run down to the Ambets, and Ambets is a thrift store, like Goodwill or something. I run to Ambets, walk in. I'm like, you got to have a 42 short in here somewhere. I find one, pull it off the shelf, get dressed in the parking lot, and walk in, and I'm tucking the tag inside. And there's still, like, Hall's cough drops from, like, the 70s still in the pockets i'm like i'm like i really should have washed this before i put it on but oh well no time like, stop it right in get some febreze and just febreze yourself down real quick you'll be fine yeah i think um i think my oldest son had left some uh he's a teenager so he's got like uh like every flavor every color bod spray there is and he has like 
two or three on him at a time. And he dropped a couple in the car. So I was like, oh, here's this. And I'm spraying it. I'm like, wow, if, if the suit does smell bad, nobody's going to smell it. They're going to be like, what is that walking in here? <laughs> Just covered in pod spray in a thrift store suit. And the, the halls, though. I, I was just amazed at the halls. I was like, man, this has been sitting there forever. And I'm like, uh, I threw them away. I was, I was too afraid to open them. I was, I was, I was going to ask, did you eat one? I probably would have eaten one just to see. Mm, no, I looked at it and I, I thought about saving them. And like, if I heard somebody cough, be like, but I was like, I can't do that to nobody. And no telling. I was like, no, let's throw them away. I kept the suit. I kept the suit. I was like, I will figure out something to do with this again. They might be another wedding and I might have to throw it back on for another one. You never know. I w uh, do you ever think about like who was the last person to wear that suit? Um, I did. And when I was at the end vets and I was looking and I put it on, I was like, uh, like I'm not the biggest dude in the world. And like, I was like, so this had to be like a little old man wearing this. <laughs> And then when I saw those cough drops, I'm like, this guy probably, last guy probably had this on is probably no longer with us. And yes, cough drops are still in there. It fit, it fit great though. If it, it was the only one, it was the only 42 short in there. And I had pants with it. And I was like, I don't know. I had no clue that the pants would even fit. They did. And nobody noticed except one guy. And he looked down and he's like, are those Converse? And I was like, oh yeah, my shoes. I only, I only have Converse, so yeah, you see those. I was like, they're all black, nobody noticed, so yeah, somebody, yeah, the last person that had it had, yeah, they're probably gone. Well, if it fits, it sits, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, so you've been doing conventions, you've, you've got a lot of stuff going on, what do you got going on? Oh, um, we got so many, um. Uh, I can't even name off every convention, but I will be, uh, October. I will be, uh, I'll be at Scarefest hanging out, doing all that stuff. Um, I got a couple things around, uh, Tennessee, uh, smaller conventions all throughout July, June. I will be in Colorado Springs at, uh, a Psy TV's super ultra Megacon. It's uh, one of my main stations that I'm on. It, it, they help give me my big break. Brandon Bishop is the man. Uh, I'll be a guest out there. And then May 14th, May 14th coming up soon in Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, the Franken, uh, uh, FrankenCon. FrankenCon is going to be having a film fest at the uh, airport Hilton uh, in Knoxville. Uh, I'll be hosting the film festival uh and we will have uh joe bob riggs will be there with me like we'll be hosting the film fest and then uh we'll be presenting the winner with an award and i told everybody if you put me in your short films you probably got a better chance of winning those if you if you give hack cameos so nobody took me up on the offer so i don't know who's gonna <laughs> Was that because you're judging and you can give the nod or were you just trying to get your way into more films or both? No, no, no judgment. <laughs> no, I would, I would call it, no, I would call it honest and fair. And, uh, I would, but I wouldn't say it wouldn't help their chances if they had me pop up and be like, hi kids and be in their movie. <laughs> um, but no, that should be a whole lot of fun and working with Joe Bob, uh, and Darcy, the male girl, uh, that's going to be a blast. I, I'm excited for that. Yeah. Darcy's gorgeous. She's just gorgeous. Yeah. I can't, I can't wait. Like I can't wait to do that. And I'm going to be freaking out because I'm like, okay, here's like, you know, the two top people. And I'm like, oh, I got a hostess with them. I'm like, I don't think hacks hacks on that level yet, but I'm like, I can't wait that that's going to be a fun. Um, we got so many more, uh, if I'm forgetting any convention, I'm sorry. It's It's been a wild day, but I'm going to be in Atlanta uh, probably in January for Days of the Dead. Uh, we have uh, Kentucky. We have probably stuff in Alabama. So many places. I'm hoping to get up to Salem uh, in October also. 
We got a couple spots in Detroit. Uh, I'm going to be everywhere, so everybody's going to have a chance to see me somewhere. <laughs> That's right. I know you sent me the uh, the ad for the uh, Franken-Con, Frankenfest, uh, Frankenpalooza. Yeah, the Franken-Con. Uh, Franken-Con. So many people are going to be there. They're doing a... Uh, they're doing a live commentary with the reunion of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. The cast is going to watch the film live with everybody and uh, do a whole uh, commentary on that. You know, there's uh, John Dugan from Texas Chainsaw. He's going to be there. Uh, so many others. They're doing the whole uh, pumpkin head. Oh. There, there's so many rare, like, guest celebrity is going to be there. And then, uh, the Franken con film fest, uh, you got, you got me and Joe Bob hosting that for everybody. It's, it's the most interactive convention I've ever heard of. And like half the time I'm be like, after the film fest, I'm probably just going to hang out with everybody because there's so much stuff going on. And that's the best thing. Like every convention that I've ever been to, like everyone, everybody who's like a vendor or like they're like a host, they're hosting something at the event. Everybody just wants it to be over. And it's not because we're, you know, we don't want to meet everybody. It's just like, you want to be over. Cause you want to go to the after party. Yes. Cause that's where the real fun is. <laughs> yes. There, there was, there was one convention. Uh, there was one convention I was at and, and it's the after party that I'm always geared up for. And there was one and they're like, uh, Tony, you can't go to the party. And I'm like, why not? I'm like, I'm a guest here. Like, why can't I go to, the I want to go party with everybody else. They're like, but that's the thing because you're that you can't go party. So I like found my badge in my pocket. I said, okay, I quit. I'm no longer a hack. Let me into this party. Like, I'll, <laughs> like, I just want to go hang out with everybody. Like, okay. Forget it. You can have the you have the table. Take your banners, your flyers. You can have them all back. You can have all the merchandise. Like just let me go in here and have fun with everyone. Who is the Who's the coolest person you think you've met so far? Oh, wow. Um, that that's hard. I, I've met so many, like so many amazing people. Um, I told you uh, before about the Clint Howard. Uh, drinking beer and stealing pizza with that guy. Uh, that was, that was awesome. But, uh, you know, you got your like Sid Hags and your Bill Mosley's and like your Gary Busey's, which I could, I wish I could get that 30 minutes of my life back. You told me about the Gary Busey one. I was like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that, that was interesting. He was the most interesting person I've ever met, but, uh, there's been so, so many different ones. And like, there's other people I met along the way, like, uh, like Jake Perry. I, I think he's amazing. Uh, Joe, all the stuff you're doing, being on your show, like you're one of the awesome people. Uh, probably this is going to sound really cliche. This is going to, I swear I'm not trying to be corny, but it's probably all the fans and the people that come out are my favorite people to talk to. Because uh, sometimes my wife has to pull me back. She's like, you got like five people standing here. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Trust me, I'm going to talk to all of them too. Because I just I just walk around. I'm like, yeah. We start talking about a movie. And I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's go get something to drink. Like, let's go hang out. And I forget like what I'm doing. I'm like, yeah, man. Let's. Um, I have to say when I met uh, Andrew. Andrew, I can't ever say his last name. Uh, Duvall, Andrew Duvall. He was in Lost. He was the Wishmaster. He was in, um, uh, I can't say his last name. I feel horrible. Uh, but I, I got to meet him and I was really excited because huge fan of the Wishmaster. And I just ran up to his table and I was like, man, it's great to meet you. I got to show you something. And he's like, okay, what? And I just start taking my pants off. And he's like, Oh, I guess you do have to show me something. I was like, no, I know what you think. And it's because I have a giant Wishmaster tattoo of like that takes up my leg. But I, I was wearing like these jeans and I was like, I just want to show you this. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. And of course, the whole convention, they were like, heck, you got your pants on, right? Like, 
They're like, oh, I know you, man. You're the guy who pulled your pants down in front of such and such. I'm like, great. Have a sticker. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, you got security behind you. Like, sir, we're going to have to ask you to pull your pants up. It's like, no, no, it's cool. I just want to show him something. Uh, he, he was flattered. And he was like, oh, come here. And he's, like, taking a picture. And he's, like, pointing like this. And I was like, uh, can I ask to take another picture with you? And he's like, oh, yeah, why? I was like, because I don't want the only picture I have with you to be like you hugging me around the waist with my pants down and like pointing at me. I was like, can we just stand up and take one too? I was like, that, that'd be a whole lot of fun. Um, that, that was one of my favorite people meeting, but mostly just all the people there, the fans, because, uh, like on my show and everything, when they walk up, they're like, Oh, I love the show. It's so cool. And I'm like, Hey, you want to be on it? Like, uh, and then I'll start filming them, let them say whatever. And, put them on it because because I, I am one of them i guess well real quick richard uh hey richard thanks for joining as well as uh, everyone else santa anna adams uh fabrizio uh richard says i'll be going all over the place at frightmare so many great people there there are a lot of pe really cool people at frightmare frightmare have you been to frightmare yet in texas oh uh frightmare is on the list i have not made it there yet <sighs> Everybody tells me Frightmare is like the best. Everything I've seen and read, I'm like, I cannot wait to go. As soon as I fit that in the schedule, Richard, I, I'm there with you, dude. I cannot wait. Lance, uh, Lance Hendricks uh, from Pumpkinhead. I think I said his last name right. Hendricks, Hendrickson? Yeah. Yeah, so one of those two. Uh, we were, uh, Richard was there too. I actually met Richard for the first time at Texas Frightmare. Um, we were all outside smoking with a a group of ours, all friends smoking cigars. And, um, one of my buddies came up and he goes, Hey, that's, that's, that's Lance from Pumpkinhead over there. And I was like, Oh shit. And he goes, yeah, he came and sat with us last year and had a cigar. He goes, he really likes cigars. You should go over there and offer him one. And I was like, and they're like, do it, Joe, do it. I fucking dare you. And I was like, oh, okay. So I went over and offered him a cigar and he goes, Oh no, I don't smoke. But if you want to sit and talk to me, that'd be cool. And I was like, okay. So I sat and hung out with him for a while. And then the next day at the convention, because I can't remember if it was a two or three day event. I drank a lot that weekend, so I don't remember. But um, <laughs> he was up like walking around through the crowds and like half of the like more than half of people there didn't even recognize him. Like he was just walking around. <laughs> I, I'm just hanging out with him, uh, floating around uh, I don't know if you're cutting out or if my cord's messed up. Hold on. I can't. You were kind of cutting out for a minute. Go again? Oh, I was saying okay. that. Especially if he's floating around and nobody's talking to him. You keep cutting out. I don't know what. I don't know if it's. You guys in the comments tell me if it's me or if it's hack. So you can't, I can't. It, you cut out off and on. So I don't know if it's me or you. It's probably me. Uh oh. I can hear you now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Well, okay. sometimes with this, like, my, my accent is heavy and thick. Well, sounds like that now. Hold on, you're cutting out a lot again. I can't. Say something. Nope. Something. I barely heard it. I really? can't. I don't. I don't think it's my. Like it can't be my cord. This is a new cord. No, I did have it on, but. Yeah. Huh. I, I might have broke something. Broke something. Sorry. I break stuff all the time. Okay, Richard says that you're going in and out. Not sure whose end it's on. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Well, I'll read a couple comments real quick. Um, Richard wants to know, did you at least get tipped for taking your pants off? Oh, I did. I got, I, I forgot.
I can't hear you. <laughs> oh. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um, let's see. Okay, I heard something. Oh, that was me messing with stuff. Okay, I can hear you now. Oh, uh, I did not get tipped, but he did get some. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. It's okay. You keep cutting in and out. All I heard was, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tony. <laughs> it's not your day, darling. No, no, it hasn't been. Oh my gosh. Uh, I wonder what it could be. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Plugged up, and I didn't change nothing. Do you have a pair of headphones, maybe, with the microphone on it? Um. Maybe somewhere. Maybe somewhere. I got like the, the studio. I heard something, something studio. <laughs> oh, I'm <no>. so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Just usually it's on my end, so usually I'm scrambling to fix something because I'm always the one with the technical difficulties, so I don't know what to do when it's somebody else. <laughs> Richard said, hold up flashcards. Oh, maybe. Yeah, good. I heard that. <laughs> Richard said it's gremlins. It, it could be. It could actually be. I hear you now. Can? Yes. Oh, well, it could be the gremlins. It's still shaky. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry, Richard. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> no, I'm sorry because, I like, it's stupid technology. Like, technology is supposed to be better than us, and it's just not. So everyone hypes this shit up. And also, like, also, like, I'm pretty much. <laughs> Flashcards. <laughs> We're gonna just mime the whole show. <laughs> oh, do you want to try this again another day, Tony? <laughs> love to. I would love. To. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, we could keep trying if you want to. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I'm not sure either because I think I got everything. I got nothing, darling. <laughs> oh. I, I, I would love to try again. One. We can't. I barely heard that, but I heard it. <laughs> it was very faint. I'm sorry. I, I would love to try again. It's probably in the weather. Oh, do you have bad weather right now? Well, it's clouding up because it's about to rain. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That happens here sometimes. Like when we get storms and stuff, it like, it really messes up all of our signal and our interwebs and shit. Or like me being in a hurry, I probably broke. I heard me being in a hurry, broke something, grabbed and fucked it up. <laughs> That's literally all I heard. <laughs> As long as we can get, like, every fourth word, we can piece it together. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. It's, like I said before we started, it's just, this is just the shit that happens when we're adults that we don't sign up for, but we have to deal with it. So, because we get, we didn't, we didn't sign up for this. We didn't ask to be adults. No one, we didn't consent to this shit. So, <laughs> Richard said, uh. They have a storm in Texas. He blames those. So, me too. It, sounds right. Sounds right. We'll blame it on Texas. <laughs> blame it on Jake. 
Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So we could try this again. Um, we can do it whenever you'd like. We can do it next week or later in the week. If you want to try that when the weather's better, maybe, or. I would love to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so... Okay. Okay. Awesome. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You guys go over all the all the links are in the uh description box below or next to you wherever you're watching this from you can go check out um tony over on hacks horror show on vimeo i always say it wrong on vimeo the links there there's a link for slash and chill and for his facebook page you guys go over there and check it out hacks horror show is really fucking hilarious for adults only so don't encourage your children to watch this um but it's a great show so you guys definitely go over there and check it out and I'm so sorry that the, that the, the weather and the interwebs and shit isn't working out right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're welcome. I don't remember how to say you're welcome sign language. I can say twat waffle in sign language. That's about it. So <laughs> tell me how. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, it's like twat waffle. <laughs> I think that, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it is twat waffle. So. Okay, now I know two things. Two things. It's not like that'd be the that'd be the rest of the show. Two stars. You say thank you, twat waffle. Is that like what you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, like I said, you guys go over there and check that shit out. It's awesome. If you haven't already checked it out, do so now. We're going to bring them back. We're going to bring them back very soon. Um, not just to get us stuff out because I, I honestly enjoy having you on the show. I haven't had you on in a while. Um, but I want you on again and talk some more, talk about movies, talk about what you got going on. Just talk about bullshit. So, and we'll be able to hear you next time <laughs> or we'll just like write things to each other and show it on the screen. <laughs> I will have it fixed. I will, I will have it put out. And we'll get backup plans going. We'll get it. We'll get it. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining. I will see you guys later in the week. And again, we're going to have Tony back uh, to talk about more stuff and more Hacks Horror Show. So, thank you guys so much for joining. And I hope you have nightmares about me. Mwah.